Hi, I'm Sweetie, and welcome to part one of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get to Work. I am so incredibly excited to be starting this Let's Play because this expansion pack seems so cool and it seems like it comes with so much stuff and cool careers and I, I love pursuing careers in The Sims franchise games. But if you have not watched any of my videos yet, then this might be your first time stumbling across me. So I do want to introduce myself a little bit. My name is Macy. It is spelled M-A-C-Y. Yes, like the department store. Um, I am a female, if you could not tell by my voice. Uh, some things I like is listening to music, which is incredibly generic, because who doesn't? Um, I like to, um, read. Yeah, that's another thing. I sound so boring right now. I'm like, what, what's some stuff I like to, I do like reading. And of course, I love playing The Sims and making videos about it and just telling the stories about my Sims. And that's a tiny little bit because I don't want to ramble on for too, too long because you are here to see this, what I'm sure will be an incredible expansion pack. So... Um, this part is going to be a lot of talking, a lot of me and Kratos Sim, so if you don't want to see that, then I would recommend skipping to part two, because you can actually read the backstory in the description, but I would love it if you stayed and hung around. So, this Let's Play, I know I had a poll and you guys voted for three Sims, but I just thought that might be too many to deal with three careers at once, you know, just seemed like a lot, so I did end up doing two, but I did choose the most popular careers that were voted, at least in the time that I stopped, like, collecting votes, I suppose you could say, on the polls that I have on my blog, which is simsweetie.blogspot.com, if you are new. But, um, I suppose I, sh I should start by showing you the Sims and maybe jumping into their backstory real quick. But like I said, I do write out the whole backstory and put it in the description so you can check it out there if you don't want to hear me describe it. So, I'll give you a quick little look at the Sims first. This is Lucia Perez. She looks... A little something like this. And this is her twin brother, who I don't think I have set up as... Oh, I, they are set up as siblings. I didn't know I did that. Um, and this is Antonio Perez. So, I'm going to go ahead and basically give you a little rundown of their backstory. So, the town that the Perez t twins grew up in was a pretty boring town. Everyone just kind of did what they felt like they were supposed to do. And, um, they, they were, it was a really, like, clicky kind of town. But the Perez twins have uh -huh. bigger plans. So Lucia, right here, was kind of considered the weird girl in high school. She is, I would consider her pretty shy and quiet, but she's really smart. And she's not very good at socializing, I suppose you could say. So she didn't really have any friends all throughout high school. But she did have her twin brother, so they grew very close. But Lucia realized that she wanted to become a doctor. She had that passion for helping people. But many women in her family suggested that, you know, she should be the typical... I stuttered there a little bit. Cool. She should be the typical housewife because that's what a lot of the people in the town she grew up in and in her own family did. But Lucia was not having any of that. But she did consider giving up on her dream of being a doctor because it just didn't seem like it was going to happen. But then Antonio came along. You know, they'd grown pretty close throughout their high school years. And he said that as soon as they graduate, they should get out of this town, move to Oasis Springs where people have bigger and better ideas, and pursue their dreams because Antonio has his own dream, of course. So I would describe Antonio all throughout high school and his whole life, really, as just always smiling and trying to make friends and just a really cheerful guy. He knows in the future he wants to have a big family. And another, and another thing about him is he really loves cooking, which his family didn't really accept because he comes from a family where everyone's like accountants or lawyers and really like typical things, I suppose you could say. But Antonio, sorry, my phone buzzed because I'm reading this backstory I wrote off my phone, if you could hear that. But um, Antonio has a dream of opening a bakery, so he decided to open it in Oasis, well, in 
where they're moving. I think I don't really, I should say, I don't really know much about this expansion pack, so it's going to be a learning experiment for all of us. So he did decide to move with his sister, and they can both pursue their dreams and see how everything goes. So as soon as they graduated, they dropped everything, and they left. And this is where we are now. So we're going to go ahead and run through some of the creative sim things that this expansion pack comes with. So we got quite a few new things here, but this is Lucia, if you could not tell, which you could because her name is right up here. Um, so let's check out these hairs. So here's the first one. I have to say, I really like the texture of all of The Sims 4 hairs that EA comes out with. Like in The Sims 3, I wasn't so fond of like the EA texture. But, like, in The Sims 4, I just think it's so nice. So this is a curly kind of do. I don't really think it suits Lucia well, but it's really cute, honestly. I really dig it. I also feel like the short hairs in The Sims 4 have been very much improved upon, you know, in, in like, The Sims 3 or previous games. So that's that. I quite like it. And here's this. This one is so cute, guys. <laughs> My throat's really dry. Sorry about that. But this one is so cute. It's just this choppy bob and it has a little side bang kind of going on right here. And it's adorable. It's adorable. Okay, then we got this. Oh, I love this one. It's so rebellious. I really want to put it on um, Kalani from my Riot Girl Let's Play. This is so... <coughs> oh my gosh, my throat. This is so something she would just totally rock. It's amazing. And then we got this, which is actually, it's kind of like an afro kind of thing. But it's actually, like, I feel like it's a good one. Like, it's not like, it doesn't look like one of those out of control ones that have been in The Sims games in the past or anything like that. It doesn't look super out of control or anything. I think it's really cute. Oh, I like it. I should probably be clicking around and showing you these in other colors. You can really see the texture when you put it in lighter colors. I'll show you these in lighter colors real quick. Because you can see the texture. Look at that texture. Wow, it's really like layered when you put it in lighter color. Beautiful. Okay, then we got this ponytail. Oh, this is so cute. Here, I want to see it in her normal. Whoa, her eyebrows changed too. That's a, the look there. This is a really cute ponytail. The only thing I don't really like about it is how it kind of curves in. You can kind of see that. I don't know, that's not my favorite. It's not like a deal breaker on this hair. Like, I still really like it. I just don't like those little ends. But it's really cute. And I can see my voice did a thing. I can see myself using it quite often. Okay, where are we? Here we go. So this one is kind of like a bun. Like a low bun kind of dealio. And it looks so realistic. Like, we need to see this in a lighter color. Look how realistic that looks. Like, the hair is poking out. It's really cute. I feel like it's just super laid back and chill. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, I love it. This hair, though, it's a little crazy. I didn't think I was gonna... Okay, I have to fix her eyebrows. Well, here it's in a lighter color. I'll fix her eyebrows later. I can deal with it. I've just... My OCD is just skyrocketing. But this is this hair, and it's a little crazy, but I really kind of like big hairs. Although I don't think it suits Lucia, obviously. Well, you might think it does. I don't think it looks that great on her. I feel like on the right sim, this could really be good. It's big, though. If you don't like big hairs, then you're going to hate this hair. But, oh, I bought my microphone. But I do kind of like big hairs, so I'm totally going to have sims rock this. Oh, this one is so cute. This one is so cute. <gasps> this one is so cute. Like, oh my gosh. I love this hair. Your sims could, like... I just imagine, like, having a wedding and your your bride sim could be wearing this hair, like, with a wedding dress and some better eyebrows, hopefully. Would that not be beautiful? But this could also be so good for every day. This might be the hair I end up using on her. I'm not really sure. Okay, and I believe this is our last one here. Oh, it's this cute little bun that has the sides shaved. Oh, I dig it so much. Again, another hair that I think Kalani could totally rock for my Riot Girl Let's Play. Like, this would look amazing on her. Oh, I, I love this. I love it. It's so unique. I just... All these hairs are so cool. I try to be, like, really critical over the stuff EA releases. Because, let's be real, their stuff is pretty expensive. Like, what, this expansion pack was, like, $40. So, I try to be, like, real critical. But I really like all these hairs. So, don't think I'm just sucking up. Okay. So, now we get to decide what hair I want to use on her. 
And I'm really leaning towards this one. It's just so cute, guys. It's so cute. And we need to fix our eyebrows because things have happened. It is not... Oh, we should look at accessories. I cannot forget to go there. Um, What am I doing? Eyebrows. Okay. Match hair. Perfect. She looks better now. Okay, that looks weird. I thought she might look better with darker eyebrows. It didn't work out. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at accessories. So we have a little elephant necklace. How adorable is that? It actually looks really cute with this dress, but I don't think I'm going to end up giving her this dress. But with this dress, it's really cute. And there's some other colors here. Play around. Oh, I like that. I like it. And there's this kind of thing. It's really unique. I like it. It's a little strange, but on the right, with the right outfit, I think it could be cute. This one has, oh, okay. Don't do that, Macy. This one has kind of a weird texture to it. It's pretty cute. Like, I, I think it, with, like, a really simple shirt, it would look kind of nice. Like, a, or like, I just feel like it's really thick looking. I don't know. It's cute. It's cute, though. Ooh, I like this one. This one, it looks like you can just see, like, the rope just looks so, like, realistic. What? Well, it's probably not rope. The string looks so realistic. Ooh, this one's really cool, actually. I like it. Like, with a cute, like, crop top or, like, an elegant ball gown. I think it'd look really nice. Oh, love it. This one, the placement of the... I don't know, what are these, like, the gems are kind of throwing me off. But I think that's just, like I said, OCD. Just, it's a problem. It's really bothering me, actually. Okay. I would like this one, but I wish it was centered. I, th that's probably just me being crazy, but... I, I'm crazy. I don't know what else to say. Okay, that's all that stuff. We might come back and give her a necklace because I don't think... Was there anything else? I don't see anything else. Sorry if I missed an accessory in there. But we might come back and give her an accessory after I give her her outfit. Ooh, there is actually some new makeup. So let's go category... Oh, okay. New makeup. Cool. I want to remember... Okay, I have this on her right now. I'm going to take that off though. So we have... Oh, I think this is alien makeup. Hmm. I got to create some idea. We're going to put that in my brain and save that for later. Cool, cool. So we got this. I might even use these in my Riot Girl Let's Play. This. A lot of alien stuff. This probably wouldn't have to be used. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool in the brown color. Like a brown smoky eye. I actually really dig that. Hmm, I like that. I have to... Keep that in mind. Ooh, this one's beautiful. This one is artistic. That one's cool. That's a cool color. Well, look, I mean, it looks cool with that color. This is, like, the inverse of, like, covering up your dark circles. Just enhance them, really. I mean, it looks great. And this one. Wow, that is a sharp edge. Ooh, it looks really cool, though, actually. <laughs> And this one. I think those are all of them. That looks cool. I don't know if I really want this for her everyday outfit, though. Maybe I'll give it to her for, like, her formal wear. But I want to put the makeup back on that I had on her. I think all that makeup is really cool because I think, like, the artistic kind of makeup stuff I like is cool. And it, it's up to your... It's it's your own opinion, really, if you like it. I don't know if there's any new hats. I didn't, I didn't see any. Sorry if I missed one. Is this... I don't know. <laughs> this probably isn't new, is it? Is this new? Oh, this is new. Okay. This... Oh my gosh, this beanie is so cute. <gasps> I was, like, literally just making a sim recently, and I was like, I wish they had, like, a cute, like, slouchy beanie, and this has answered everything. It looks a little weird with this hair. Let's switch out the hair. Just like to this. <gasps> so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. They've never had, like, a good beanie in the Sims game. And that is, like, just the answer. That is the answer. And we didn't finish. We didn't even look at the face makeup. I'm all over the place. So, we got some other stuff here. Face stuff. That is quite the contour. Do they have, like, a normal shade? No, oh, no, not really. Because if you could, like, give her some subcontour. That, oh, that's the wrong one. That'd be pretty cool. Alrighty. Um, oh, there are some new lips. So, you know, we got all those colors for the patch update, but we got even more now. Oh, these remind me of the Into the... F what was it? Ant to the Future. They remind me of the Into the Future ones. So, this one 
the colors. It's just like they have such an edge. <gasps> that color is actually quite pretty. Like I said in my patch update thingy, that's a cool color. <laughs> like I said in my patch update, I like bright colored makeup. So, patch update video. Did I even complete that sentence? This one's really metallic y looking. Ooh. Okay, I don't think we're gonna give her any of these, so. What did I have on her? Let's just undo until I find it. Undo, 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 undo. I'm probably gonna use a lot of this makeup in my um, get to work. Not get to, what am I? A riot girl let's play because it's all very that kind of style I'm going for. And face paint, no new face paint as far as I know anyway. So I guess, are there any new face details? I don't think so. Okay, there's not. So, let's go ahead and go on to the clothes. So, let's start in the tops category. Get a couple new things. Oh, this shirt is like a tank- Oh, it's even cuter in the back. It's like a tank top that's uh -huh. racer back, I suppose you could say. And it's like tied right there. And then there's a bandeau underneath. I don't know how long this video's been. I should start going over these things a little quicker. Here are a couple different colors of it. It's very cute. I like it. Very cute. This shirt is so cute. It's so cute. So it's like a crochet kind of thing, and it has like a bandeau kind of thing under it again. Like the other shirt. Very cute. <gasps> this cardigan though. Oh my gosh, this cardigan. So this is a cardigan with like Aztec kind of print. Or tribal print, I suppose. It's so oh, amazing. This is cute. Actually, it's pretty cute. Uh, it's kind of bulky. Not my favorite, but it's really cute. I keep saying cute. You need a new word to say. Uh -huh. Oh, I like this blazer. I like to use Sims on my blazers a lot. Just like whenever I just feel like my Sims are going to be like a professional business lady. So this blazer is perfect to add to my repertoire of, br of blazers, not blazers. This crop top, though. 10 out of 10. Just 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, it's a little high-low. <gasps> Perfect. And this shirt is definitely a very professional shirt. I like how it's very form-fitting. Oh, this sweater is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I said cute again. Okay, no more saying cute, Macy. No more. Uh, this sweater is precious. Oh my gosh, there's... <clears throat> there's hearts on the sleeves. It got better. Okay, perfect. Let's look at the bottoms. We got a couple new ones here. Oh, these are cute. They're like, they, I said cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say the word cute. That sounds like a great idea. Um, oh, look at that. That has like a bow and it's kind of like roughly almost. Some very professional pants here. Oh, these are torn a little bit. It's cool. Not my favorite, really. Wow, those have a, a little bit of flair to them. I don't really... Okay, I didn't really like this color. This one's kind of cute. No! No more. No more saying cute. This one has... I like it. With the right top. Not this one, but like... I have like a custom... I really want to try it on. With the thing I'm thinking of. Something like that, maybe. Oh no. Okay, let's go into the full body outfits. I have been anticipating this dress because it is stunning. Uh -huh. It is stunning. Like it's it gotta say ten out of ten. Ten out of ten a million out of a million. A beautiful, beautiful round of applause. Ooh, this one getting a little a little spicy here. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. And this is obviously a business outfit. And ooh, this one has a little bit of glam here, but it is also, obviously, a business outfit. That I like. Okay. So let's go ahead. I think I'm going to give her this. Should I give her two every... Let's just give her one everyday outfit for now. Actually, I kind of want to give her something a little more casual. What do I want to give her? Let's filter by... Can I actually... Oh, I can actually filter by packs. That's cool. Um, I feel like... Maybe this? Oh, goodness. I'm going to take way too long to do this. Maybe this. Maybe this. Honestly, I'm really digging this. Like, what color, though? I like this color. Uh, that color. 
I'm contemplating my options. Maybe the pink. I like the pink. Okay. And then I'm just going to give her some bottoms. I didn't really like any of the bottoms that came so I'm, with the thing, with the uh, expansion pack. So I'm just going to give her some custom content jeans that I really like. And, oh, we haven't looked at shoes yet. Let's look there, guys. Making you wait. And here they are. Uh, these look a little strange in yellow. Oh, they look better in other colors. They little slip-on shoes. And these boots are very cool. I'll use them often. They look useful. These look kind of weird on the foot, don't they? Like the heels kind of popping out. I don't know how I feel about that. And these flats. Oh, they're cute. They got little poke. I said cute. I'm, uh, I'm done with myself, honestly. Oh, they're a little open in the back. That's nice. These are my favorite out of them. I'm trying to get this moving a little faster, so... Sorry if you're like, I wanted to see that a little bit more, but like, I don't want this to be like an hour long. So, there is her outfit. I don't know if there's anything for like, formal wear or like sleepwear. Should we look? Get to work. No. 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 I'll just leave with what I leave what I have on her on her because I'm chill with it so here is what we're working with now for Lucia okay I'm gonna try to go like I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do it for Antonio honestly let's do the hairs really really fast so here's the first one very flat not for Antonio but I dig it I, this one's cute it's really curly I like it Ooh, this one's very long and voluptuous. On the right sim, it could be good, but I don't know if it's really Antonio's personality. Oh, a man bun. Interesting. Oh, this one's so cute! Oh, I like it. It's really cute. A shaven one. I dig it. Never go wrong with that. This one's so cute, too. It's a little, like, roughly... Ooh, this one's, again, another voluptuous one. I can I feel like it goes up a tiny bit too high. Like, it makes their forehead look a little big. But I think the hairstyle I want to give him... Is... I kind of want to give him this one. As I kind of want to give him that one. Oh my gosh, I want to give him, like, all of the hairs. You know what, I like this one. I think it goes with his personality. It's just being, like, a wholesome guy. I doubt there's any new facial hair. Any hats? Do they not have the beanie? Do they have the beanie? Oh, they do have the beanie. Good. Oh, it's cute. Mm, I dig it. That one. I did it. Strange sound. Um, so for the tops, we got a jean jacket. I'm not that into jean jackets, but it's nice. This shirt's cute. I love when they have the sleeves rolled up like quarter length or whatever that is. It's probably not quarter length. Anyway, a tux, well not a tux, a jacket, suit jacket, professional, nice. Uh, this looks strange on him, but it's a vest. It's okay. This is very professional too. <gasps> I like this. I like it a lot. This is a casual shirt, definitely. Oh, it's cute. It's very casual. This one is definitely a work outfit, probably. Well, you wouldn't have to, but that's what I would think. And this shirt is also very cute. I said it again. I'm going to punch myself in the face, honestly. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to end up giving him. I, I didn't mean to take it off. <laughs> that was momentarily uncomfortable. But I don't know what I'm going to give him. For a We'll just put that on him for now and go into pants. Oh, he, they actually get a couple options. Some banana pants. In yellow, they look like bananas. Okay. Um, I have a weird crease down the middle. Don't know how I feel about that. Oh, these are nice. They're like capris, I think. That's considered capris, maybe. And these are a little bit more capris. Don't really like the texture. There's probably a good dick jean. Yeah, I like that. I, I do like these. Okay. Some shorts. Rolled up shorts. I like the, how they're all like rolled up. Like, what is that? Okay, these have some weird lines. I do not dig that. Oh, wait. Was this? This was outdoor. I'm an idiot. That wasn't actually part of this expansion pack. A plus, Maisie. You're so smart. Okay. 
I like these. Slap them on and go to the shoes. So, those are quite the colorful shoes here. Interesting. Flip flops. Actually, are they flip flops? Maybe they're sandals. I don't know. You can never go wrong with them. Boots. Can never go wrong with them. Loafers. Can never go wrong with them. Whatever these are considered. You can never go wrong with them. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, these are similar to the female shoes. I like them. And more loafers. You can never go wrong with them. Um, oh, did I? I didn't even look in accessories. Like, under for girls. Okay. Oh, the guys do have some new accessories. Some new necklaces here. You can't see them with the shirt, though. So, 10 out of 10. Ooh. Saucy. Okay, wh what am I doing? It's right here. And so we got the beads. More beads. These have, like, shark teeth if they were green. And this reminds me of Katy Perry. Okay, moving on. Ow, I just bought my desk. Fine, fine. Um, I didn't look under accessories right here, so I want to check right here. So, bracelet. Bracelet. And then some leggings, which I cannot really show you because she's wearing pants. But, you know what? I think it's about time we end this part because I've been talking for like 10 hours. And I assure you, Antonio will not be wearing this. I'll slap something else on him. Sorry if I missed something. I know I didn't really go into detail about everything. But by this point, you've probably seen these videos like a million times. So, yes. And I will talk to you then. So make sure to subscribe. I will talk to you all later. And yeah, bye.